that lunatic woman. Sep himself wouldn't step in her shadow. I'd stay off this path, lest she demand some humiliating task from you. A madwoman named Lady Laurent. She hired me in the Alakir to guide her through the desert, but this is as far as I go for her. She's already lost one of her traveling companions. I won't be the victim of her next accident. Ask her. I didn't stick around to hear her explanations. Though excuses would be a better word. Everything is somebody else's fault. Huh. Expedition is ruined. One catastrophe after another. Oh, we meet again. You wouldn't happen to be interested in performing a few light duties, would you? I'm in need of a temporary assistant. I'm conducting research into ancient Yokudan ruins to see what light they cast on modern Redguard society. Fascinating, but not without peril. An alchemical experiment led to my assistant becoming a... Uh, incapacitated but I hope to recover him oh quite Stibben should recover once I reverse the process all my supplies are at my new camp through these ruins we'll need to get some things here then go to my first camp at the dig site which unfortunately has been overrun by goblins goblins certainly not I've been studying the local gargoyles. I believe they're the key to certain Yokudan myths and legends. It's my own theory. Now, I'll need you to retrieve my supplies, and then perform Stibben's duties in his absence. My alchemical gear is at the new camp through these ruins. You'll have to find where Stibben set it up. Be careful with it. It's delicate. Once you've collected that, we'll move on to the old camp. Let's get on with it, shall we? Stibbins isn't going to revive himself. Yes, most satisfactory. Stibbins would have dusted them off as well, but one mustn't be choosy, must one? Now, off to our first camp at the dig site, where we'll find my man Stibbins, shall we? I'm back, Stibbins. Glad to see you haven't run off anywhere. What a hodgepodge. How is one supposed to find anything in here? Please, pay me no mind. I didn't expect to react so strongly to seeing poor Stibbins in this state. <clears throat> now, where did he put those notes? I suppose you should know the truth. Ancient inscriptions here described some unique alchemical processes, which I tried to duplicate. I fear I succeeded all too well, and Stibbins's unfortunate condition is the result. Yes, but I'm certain I can restore him if we find his... Uh, uh, my notes. Stibbins put them in a safe place somewhere in this camp. I'm sure you can find them. You're ever so handy at that sort of thing.
Julianos's little teapot. Where could they be? Oh, praise the divines. You're a lifesaver, Stibbins. They're, I mean, whatever your name is. At any rate, give me a moment to read these over, and I'll know what I need next. Ah, oh, yes, now I recall how it was. Stendar, smite them. The goblins took my reagents. It would serve them right if they ate them, the wretches. Hmm. That gives me an idea. I need to develop an antidote for the Yokudin stone flesh potion. And to be safe, I'll need to test it on other research subjects before applying it to Stibbons. So I need the original reagents back so I can make more of the stone flesh potion. So we can use it on the goblins, of course. Once they're petrified, they'll be the test subjects for my antidote. Let's go recover my reagents from those beasts. Then I must check my notes against the Yokudin inscriptions, if I can find them again. These writings are very old indeed. How gratifying! Oh, this is a curious one. I must have missed it on my first pass. I'll have this in an instant. You're rather useful in your own way. Meritorious work. Now, according to my notes, I just need to combine these reagents and shake the vial. Indeed it is. It's up to you to administer it, of course. You should probably pour it into whatever noisome slumgullion they're brewing up in those cookpots. While you're attending to that, I'll consult with our hireling guide. Oh yes, his name's Mare. He's rather a crazy old hermit, but he certainly knows his way around these old Yokudin ruins. He lives in a nearby cave overlooking the ruins. Hermit's Climb, they call it. I tried, but he refused to go near the goblins. Besides, he's quite mad. He's become entirely preoccupied with some ancient Yokudin riddle. You'll see when you meet him. Perhaps you'll be able to talk some sense into him. Still as the stone that walks, yes. They remember, you know. They carry their histories etched in their flesh. Harken, Wayfarer. They were here before the walls rose, and they are here after. And yet some mock these lowly creatures for worshipping them. What folly! The flying stones hold the secret you seek. 
in their unyielding flesh that is not flesh. There are no dunes without wind, yet when the wind is gone, the dune remains, eh? Tongues of stone, young seeker. Tongues of stone. You see? Quite maddening. And all I have to go on are these similarly arcane inscriptions from the ruins. The Yokudan inscriptions are mysterious. Frankly, I'm baffled by them. But Mare has dropped hints that he knows what they mean. I'm sure he could tell me what I want to know, if I could only figure out how to give him what he wants. He wants the answer to the riddle of the inscriptions. He'll tell me my answer if I'll give him his answer, or something like that. It's maddening. Stibbins would know what to do, I'm sure. He was always good at seeing what's right in front of me. They contain the key to the antidote for my stone flesh potion. Somehow, the gargoyles inspired the early Red Guards to experiment with their own flesh and bone. If I could only understand their cryptic inscriptions, I could master their alchemy. Have answers. Answers are more to me than water. Answers. Answers. A riddle? No. The riddle. The one these ruins whisper every night. The one that hums through the walls when the sun beats upon them. You know whereof I speak. You've read the three inscriptions. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? No, no, you are blithering! Concentrate, Seeker. Ignore the importunities of the hovering eyes of flame, as I do. Air. Yes, that's it. The breeze. The breath of Tava. Ah, devious Sep. You wind a fateful path in this desert. Here, then, is your answer. Within the maw and between the teeth, the gargoyle cannot hide its mortality forever. The tongue, of course! Ugh, how very disgusting. Arke's beard. Could anything be more disgusting than this gargoyle's tongue? Oh, one must make the best of it, I suppose. Now, how to prepare the antidote? That's why I had you dose the goblin stew. Do pay attention. Several of them must have been petrified by now. I've prepared several versions of the antidote. I'll need you to apply it to the petrified goblins and record the results. I shall have to somehow drag Stibbins back to the other camp. It's a bother, but there's no help for it. Once you've observed the results of your trials, meet me back there with your report. That data should enable me to concoct the final antidote.
Did you use all of them? I do hope you paid close attention to their effects. That's just what I was counting on. Right. Now I know how to adjust the concoction to make a working antidote. Oh, soon Stibbins will be right as rain, thanks to my brains and your brawn. Now see here. Your lack of confidence in me is quite unjustified. I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, stand back. I've no doubt these results will be spectacular. Now, if my calculations are correct, this should take effect almost immediately. Oh, by Xenothar, I have an acute throbbing in my cranium. Could this be what a hangover is like? Possibly, though I'd like to take time for a more detailed inspection. How long was I asleep? Is Lady Laurent all right? A statue? Are you jesting? No, I can see you're serious. I recall nothing. I seem to be intact, although perhaps a trifle stiff in the joints. I could certainly use a strong... That is, I believe I have a bottle of medicine that will help me. There. See, I told you it would work. Indeed I am. I know you may not have much experience taking risks like this, but sometimes you just have to follow your instincts. Regardless, I owe you my thanks. Why, if Stibbins were stuck as a statue forever, I don't know what I'd do. I think I... Uh, we have accomplished quite a bit in this short time. With Stibbins rescued and our notes gathered, I think it's time we returned to civilization and compiled our conclusions. It will be a scholarly sensation. Thank you for assisting Lady Laurent while I was indisposed. I hope there are no lingering after effects. She can be rather demanding at times. Now that Stibbins is on the mend, we can pack up the camp and move on to our next expedition. You were quite adequate for a temporary assistant, but you're no Stibbins. If I were in your position, I'd consider pursuing another line of work. <laughs>